Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alex and this is The Car Creative. I recently just picked up the brand new iPad Pro. The 2020 version, as you can see here, it's got like the new cameras and the LiDAR and all that stuff. And uh, I'm just curious to see how well it actually does at photography compared to some of my DSLRs that I use and stuff. I'm gonna show you some of the apps that I would pair with this for my car photography or any photography for that matter as well as some of the editing apps and stuff that I would use. So we're gonna do a photo shoot and a photo edit using just this tool and the Apple Pencil, of course. And then once we're done the photo shoot here, I'll go back to the office, we can edit some of these photos together and I'll show you some of the apps that I use to do that. Okay guys, so the first app that I'm gonna show you actually is for capturing photos. It's an app called Moment. You may have heard of those guys. They make all kinds of phone cases, cameras that you can screw onto your mobile devices. They're a really cool company and they make a really cool app that actually allows you to shoot raw photos with your mobile device. So we're actually gonna use that Moment app to shoot raw to maximize the capability of the iPad to get the best quality photo. I was like terrified of dropping this thing. I mean, I'd want to go without the case on, but that's just too scary right now. I just got this, so. Anyway, I just got the photo, so let's go take this back to the office and we'll see what kind of editing we can do with it. All right guys, here we are back in the office. So we're just gonna dive right into the edits here. So the first app that I was showing you is called the Moment app. So again, you have to come back into the Moment app, go into the camera roll. So as you can see here, as you go through the camera roll, you can see in kind of the bottom corners which ones we shot in raw. I think this one's our best bet here to do a, an edit with. So the second app that I'm gonna suggest you guys get into for mobile photography is called Lightroom. Of course, there's Lightroom on your computer, but there's Lightroom Mobile as well, which is a half decent app that can allow you to do a lot of stuff. So, okay, so once you've got this imported into Lightroom, we're just gonna do a really quick basic edit on it, but I wanna show how much detail, because I don't know either, but I wanna see how much detail this iPad actually retained by shooting in RAW and using the Moment app. So if we just scroll in here, scroll in pinch in zoom in i don't know there's like a little bit of noise there which isn't you know too bad because people aren't going to be zooming into this like if you're posting it to instagram or something for the most part it's just going to look like this um, but i'm going to start by just making sure that it's all leveled up and centered as best as possible so i'll go really quickly through this just so you guys can see the edit uh, I'm not gonna do too much detail. If you wanna see a bit more on how I actually edit my photos, there's other videos on my channel. So head over there and see some of my editing videos. I'm gonna go through this really fast and then we'll get into some of the other apps that I use as well that is super helpful for editing your photos. So I am gonna use a graduated filter here. This is definitely one of the scenarios where the background's slightly boring. So if you add motivated light into these images, it generally adds just like a bit more dimension, a bit more flair. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of a nice way to add contrast to an image that might otherwise be a little bit boring. All right, so that is a basic edit of the 2020 Tacoma shot on the iPad, edited on the iPad. And I don't know about you, but that's like a pretty sharp looking image considering that it's taken on a tablet. Um, again, I think Moment is one of the better ways to capture that raw image that just retains a little more detail. Uh, I don't know, but it's worth testing out to see if you can see any difference between the JPEG and the RAW. I'll probably do a quick edit on the wide camera as well to see what the difference is, and I'll put that on the screen as well. But this leads me into the next app, which is Photoshop. Um, there's a couple different versions I'm gonna recommend for you. Um, the reasons I use Photoshop mainly is to clean up an image and then also to do some dodging and burning. And then if you wanna go so far, you can kind of like remove the sky, replace the sky, all that kind of stuff. But for this, we're just gonna use it to remove. Now, if you don't have the Adobe membership, Adobe has Photoshop fixed and you can use that and it has the same kind of power in there to remove objects and it's so fast and it looks so good. So we're gonna hop over there and we're gonna get that done. All right, so now that we're in Photoshop, we're gonna take this little Band-Aid tool here and we're just gonna remove anything that is really unwanted. There's not too much in here that I'm gonna get rid of, but there's a few things that we just don't really want, that being one of them. 
this tag on the Tacoma from the dealership we don't really need. Let's see how it does there. Yeah, we wouldn't notice it. Okay. So the Photoshop app has actually become quite powerful. It's not something that I'm actually super well versed in, but if it's something that you really want to get into with car photography or any photography for that matter, this app is definitely worth getting to know. You can add different layers with different effects and they're still building some of the effects that you would get on your computer. Building that into the mobile app, it's not quite as full yet, but great, great app. There is another app that you guys can look into that is a bit of a competitor to Photoshop and Lightroom, it's called Affinity Photo and they do have a mobile app as well. Worth looking into, I think it's around 12 or $13 to get it on mobile, but I've read really good reviews and I'm hopeful that it would actually do a lot of powerful things if you can't quite afford Lightroom and Photoshop or the monthly subscription, whatever it may be. But now that we are done in Photoshop, we're gonna take this back into Lightroom, we're gonna dodge and burn, do our final steps, and then I'm gonna show you that last app that adds a little bit of flair and a little bit of fun to your images. There you have it, that is the final edit um, before I take it into my last app. This is kind of the before and after of the dodge and burn. So now the last app that I'm gonna show you guys is called Lens Distortions. Now, Lens Distortions is just one of those final touches if you wanted to get a little bit more creative with your photography, where you can add lens flares, sun flares, you can add haze, you can add rain and snow, um, glitter and like fake glass effects. Now there is a bit of a paid version. Again, you can use this either on the iPad or your iPhone. There is a paid version. You can get more of these uh, if you buy them, like with packs and stuff like that. Um, these guys also have a ton of stuff up on the web. I use their LUTs, which is on this video right now. I use their sound effects, which are amazing. And then also they have larger Photoshop files that you can add into your images if you wanna go beyond just the mobile app. Really cool company, highly suggest you look at them up. This is not in any way sponsored by any of these companies, but uh, this is just some cool stuff you can do. So let's just like add a light flare, for example. You can obviously make it smaller, bigger, brighter, whatever will make it look like the sun's coming in. You can adjust obviously the brightness of this, the opacity, the contrast. Again, one of the cool tools in here is if you pay for the upgrade, you can get this erase and mask tool. So then you can erase the parts that maybe wouldn't actually be there. But for now, I'm just actually gonna bring this down a little bit. Wow, you can add the moon, some shimmer and shine. Now this one would look really cool if you could mask it out and just make it look a little bit more subtle. Up to you and your creative ideas. There's all kinds of different things you can add in here to help with you being a little bit more creative. You wanna add a little bit of flair and spunk and fun. That's one way you can do it. This is an incredibly powerful machine that if you want to, you can take photos and videos and edit them all on your iPad and make an incredible product. Would I rather shoot with a DSLR? Yeah, I think I would rather shoot with a DSLR. It's a bit clunky to carry this thing around and take photos with it. it wasn't like the most pleasant experience, but it is amazing that even with your cell phone guys, you can do some incredible stuff with your mobile devices because mobile apps and the cameras in them have come such a long way. So with a little bit of editing, few of these apps, you guys can do some incredible work. So it was a cool insight for me into the new iPad and what it's capable of. I'm really excited to use this more and more as an editing machine because it's so mobile. It's a lot of fun and this Apple Pencil is a good time. I just want to thank you so much for all of your support on my last few videos. It's been really fun watching the channel grow with you guys. If you want to see some of my other videos, head over to my channel, consider subscribing. And if you learned anything in this video, guys, if you would give it a thumbs up for me, that would be really sweet. And definitely let me know in the comments below if you learned anything, what you guys think of the new 2020 iPad Pro. Um, and also, please do come check me out on Instagram and shoot me a DM or something. I love chatting with you guys and turning this camera interface thing into actual people. That's what this is all about, especially when we're going through the hard times with COVID-19. It's nice to actually connect and kind of get past our screens here. So thank you guys so, so much for watching and I hope I will see you in the next one. Peace.